It's the 8th of September at 8.08 and this, as usual, is for the interest of the European parliamentarians that are aware of the ob obstruction of um, supports that I'm automatically entitled to that have been withheld from me since I became a married mother in a democracy in 2015. There have been individuals that have been implicating themselves in my medical records and that have been defaming my competency and my capabilities and my uh, credit worthiness and these people are a financial fraud and money laundering from stolen wealth of mine so um, I have a hierarchy of needs I have royal titles um, I have a son I have two fabulous uh, ancestral farm holdings that are in my name since 2015 that are subject to fraud um, I have a very clean track record I have um, my credentials and my qualifications and I have my humanitarian contributions and qualifications that um, changed the landscape of Ireland and abroad between 2017 and 2019. And there are mentally disturbed individuals thinking that they're um, walking into my identity with very dangerous theft and discrepancies and very dangerous blasphemy. Now, these people have caused very dangerous uh, bodily integrity damages. They're a very poor politics. They're a very poor intrusion. I have not met uh, any of uh, these individuals that have spoken out of place using my name or my identity. Um, I have, as, as I said, as a royal mother, I have uh, 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 ascended, I'd say, I suppose, in certain respects as a recovery advocate with Narcotics Anonymous um, for the past 20 years, 25 years. And uh, that's all being put in jeopardy now by people offending the law and telling porkies. So uh, there's a problem happening. Um, the proper people aren't uh, handling it um, as uh, procedures would advise. Um, there are people... <clears throat> refusing point blank to pay their debts <laughs> there are people uh, that think they're going to walk on to uh, stolen wealth and not uh, worry about the implications for the guards um, and their children I might add and as I've said between 2017 and 2019 we've already seen what has happened in Ireland um, since my child was illegally separated from me there is absolutely no lawful care order over my child uh, from Tusa Child and Family Agency or Common Keller and Tobin so even just between the period of 2017-2019, the Gartha Siakana have been affected, uh, impacted um, because of these ASBOs, um, thinking they're in control of my uh, circumstances and in control of stolen wealth. So, uh, beggars believe <laughs> these people are not uh, professional people to be conducting uh, or transacting any affairs with. They have compromised the guards already. Um, the guards have been affected and negatively impacted by those that have offended my good name and my innocent child. So I hope everyone this morning is thinking properly with regard to what's right and wrong. Um, there are people that are speaking out of place that simply have no position at the table with my portfolio. Um, they have no right to discuss what they have no entitlement to. I don't entitle anybody to my spiritual identity or my spiritual status that they're so obsessed and neurotic about. Um, they've already gotten themselves uh, negatively impacted um, with their blasphemous acts as well. So these people have no position whatsoever and they're causing the most dangerous of problems. So um, those that are discussing what doesn't belong to them would be advised to stay as far away from my properties in Albert and Kilflane. And if my child isn't located, I can only say it only puts other people at risk as well. Anyone would know you cannot walk in on a child without paperwork um, or without a proper um, legal process and uh, separate a child with uh, slander or defamation of the mother that is a recovery advocate and a mental health practitioner. So social reform has arisen from all of this. Um, it's called COVID-19 and there have been the Brexit negotiations as well. So those people that are rude enough, cheeky enough and ignorant enough to think that they're uh, entitled to my uh, portfolio, um, I hate to tell them that they're lacking in huge uh, qualities of character and uh, definitely not of experiential knowledge to put their name to social reform that they are not hand, act or part of. So... <clears throat> This is for the interest of the European Court of Human Rights. There are people suffering from mental illness that don't know who they are. Uh, 
being a part of an identity that I don't welcome them to be a part of. Um, so my experience of Strengths and Hopes with the Narcotics Anonymous Fellowship and the social reform that has come about as a consequence of my uh, contributions to society are all being uh, disrespected, unfortunately. And <clears throat> there are debtors out there. Um, I might advise those that are conscientious about money launderers in society that has all that have also been uncovered as a consequence of my um, humanitarian contributions. Those that are transacting with those with less than good standards in their transactions regarding wealth. I would hope that everyone know uh, the implications of um, proper procedures and proper um, conduct with regard to prosperity. Um, there is new prosperity as a consequence of my humanitarian contributions and there are still people uh, dirtying their debit sheet. So um, there's a very dangerous discrepancy with what's legal and what's not legal. Um, I have international protection, I have humanitarian protection, I have state protection and I'm right protocol. So there are people being cheeky with proximity and property and privacy and protocol. So the European Union the Council of Europe, um, all the humanitarian agencies. There's a problem in County Kerry with the past 20 years with people in this society that don't understand basic politeness and protocol with people's property that they don't have entitlement to at all. Uh, my child is missing. My farms are being trespassed upon by people that don't have a right to be on my farms. The church, the Roman Catholic Church, no less, has been offended as well. And there are people espous espousing to be of the commandments. I'm astonished. So as I live on my own, people at Rock Street uh, that are offending my name or that owe any debt, um, I'm astonished that people would think they could speak of the commandments with what's going on. It's astonishing. Um, so um, I hope everyone's on the right side of the law and the people that are obstructing um, what is in titled to my name by law and by birthright. Um, those people that are deluding themselves by any means of the imagination with regard to what they think that they're entitling themselves to uh, might look at what they've done to the Garda Siakona already in the past with compromising the Garda Siakona and their safety. Um, the Garda Siakona have a very huge job. Guards have a very, very big, big, big responsibility to make sure that the innocent, peaceful uh, people of society are always safeguarded and that children and mothers are always prioritised. There is no leeway for people that are of repeat financial theft, fraud, slander, anything of the sort. So I'm aware that I have been offended and I'm aware that they are offending my royal ancestors. I'm aware that they're offending the social reform, but the fact of the matter is that there have already been problems because of these offences due to no cause of their own. Um, so if Europe wouldn't mind putting the record straight and assisting me immediately with regard to my hierarchy of needs being perfectly uh, catered for and general practitioners of any health uh, care providers being kept at a very uh, respectful distance from me with the crimes that they have already committed against my good name, character, reputation, competency, capabilities and so on and so forth. And anyone speaking about religion is in very, very, very delicate territory, especially since they're offending my royal uh, ancestors, my holy matrimony that is not subject to change. Just so the Roman uh, Vatican Church are aware, there are culprits of very dangerous uh, bigamy and blasphemy um, with regard to farm fraud and my church records. So once the Vatican is aware of what's going on as well, I'd be very, very appreciative of that. But there are there are uh, dirty circumstances occurring, unfortunately, with people that are offending health and wealth. And that needs to be addressed because it's a constant cycle from County Kerry. It's ongoing with these people. And I've had it up to I've had that mountain of trouble with them. They've caused me that much offence. It's disgusting. So um, they've no shame. They've no integrity for the respect of the country. The country has been brought to uh, a disgraceful stance because of these people in society. They have no right or lawful position in this society. And they've disgraced Ireland. So if Europe wouldn't mind, um, I have a very 
very clean track record. I'm experiencing crime and debt evaders are of extortion sending me correspondences via intruders. Um, so <clears throat> the ministers up in Dublin are aware of the damages they have to repair and um, <clears throat> health practitioners are simply not welcome. <clears throat> So um, this is the update for today and people offending the Vatican Church, um, I hope they're aware of the, the burden of the cross that they're going to be carrying for um, uh, their sins. <laughs> it's a sad sign of the times. Mm.